update I have not made a video in a while so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna propagate this Chinese lantern flower so when you propagate anything you want to make sure you cut off all the leaves mm, all the leaves even the new little growth that you have here you basically want to have a twig just like this and um, basically you can get growth hormones or you can um, put it into aloe vera, anything that uh, you have laying around the house. What I'm going to do is I have cut them, trim them, trim the leaf off, and I'm going to use it in two methods, which is going to be one, I'm going to put it in water with gro growth hormones, and the other one, I'm going to. Um, if you watch my other propagation videos, what I normally do is stick them in with the olive oil vera leaves and put it in a pot. So I'm going to pause the video here and I'm going to show you what I will be doing with this in a minute. Okay, so basically I have this stem here in aloe vera. I have left the stem a little bit... Um, sticking out of the aloe vera so basically aloe vera is a healing agent and it will heal um, the cutting that you did and it will help produce um, root for you so basically this is one way you can propagate these flowers obviously I have pre um, in the 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 soil I had put water inside of it to make sure that it's nice and moist when I put in my cutting. As for this one, this is a rooting hormones, and um, basically it helps you with the with rooting too as well. So what I'm gonna do is I have here. This is a container of plain water, and you just want to make sure that the twig or the cutting is wet you dip it into the rooting hormones and once it's all covered like so you just directly put it into the water so these two methods have worked and it I was very successful with propagating my plants with and I hope that you can propagate your own plant too. You also, with this, you have to check back all uh, to make sure that the root, uh, it's rooting and also the water is not um, dirty. If the water is dirty, what's gonna end up happening, you won't have root and it will die in the container. For this method, you just have to make sure that you water it once a week and you want to make sure to put it in a shaded area such as this area with low light, medium light. Same goes for this. Make sure you can put it on your window seal or any place where it has medium to low light. As you can see, even though I stuck it into the water, the rooting hormone stuck to the cutting and only a few of the rooting hormone flew to the top or float to the top so this is the this is how it helps uh propagate the rooting for your cutting leave it in here for like three to four days